A leading code for matter in WordPress workflow? Why not? In this guide, I will walk you through Prettier, a tool for ensuring a consistent coding style across front-end assets in WordPress projects, and of course beyond. I will explore its perks and drawbacks, guiding you to decide if it's the right fit for your needs. And also, I will share my own experiences with this tool. Ready to start? Let's begin! Prettier is an opinionated code formatter that enforces a specific code style across the project. It removes all original styling of supported languages like for example JavaScript, JSON, CSS and many more and ensures that the code conforms to a consistent coding style. It simply takes your code and reprints it from scratch by taking its rules into the account. Like for example here. This code breaks the max line length rule of the Prettiers. So after using this tool, all the function arguments will be put in the new lines, making the code conforming the prettier coding style. It's crucial to note that it is a formatter, not a linter, so if you're unfamiliar with the distinction, I recommend watching my first video on this topic here. The prettier installation is really, really simple. To install this within your codebase, just simply navigate to the project root in the terminal, so in our case it is a, a root of the team, and install it using the following command. How to use prettier now? To search for rule violations, you can use the prettier command and specify a directory to check. The tool will scan all the files and list any issues there. Unfortunately, it doesn't show exact issues with references to the problematic lines as it happens in other similar tools, but we just need to accept this. To fix the issues automatically, you can run the same command, but with the right argument. As a result, you will get the information about which file has been changed. We can also add a new task in the package.json to make this process easier. So now you can run yarn lint and yarn format command to run prettier tasks. Now you can use prettier manually as described here, but it has been created to forget about manual fixes. That's why you can integrate git hooks with tools like Husky, but I will handle this in another video together with other formatters and linters like PHP CS. So let's check the composer.json file that doesn't follow the indentation rules defined in my project. After running Prettier, we get the code with fixed indentation, meaning that it is compliant with Prettier rules now. How to configure it? I wanted to discuss Prettier's rules now and show you how you can modify them, but I'm not sure if it's needed. According to the core idea of Prettier, being opinionated, you should not need this because you should rely on the rules defined by Prettier. If you decide to use this tool, you should accept its rules. It's a little bit different approach than for example in the PHP CS where you can define which rules you want to use in your project and the tool just verifies them. Here Prettier tells how to format the code and if you decide to use it, you should trust it. The official articles and documentation describe this choice really well, so you should check it out. Of course, it provides a limited set of options, so we can create a configuration file and modify the rules, like using a single quote instead of double ones, but most of them are there only due to the history reasons and no more will be added in the future. And please note that Prettier supports editor config, which I already discussed in this, this video. Which is a great addition, for example, if you set the indent size there already, this configuration will be reflected in the Prettier too. I'm talking about some CLA usage, Husky, Git hooks, etc., but maybe you want to use Prettier in the really simple way, in VS Code. If you want to do this, you can. You have a possibility to do. Of course, not only in VS Code, but also in other editors. We just need to install the plugin and uh, use it when needed. You can configure it, it to format the code on save, like for example here, or just run the command manually, which is a way preferable to me. I don't like when something changes the code without my permission, so I just like doing it manually. How to ignore the code in Twitter? As with most tools like this, you can ignore code checks by creating a specific configuration file. Here the file is called Prettier Ignore which has a similar format as gitignore and ignores files and directories defined there. You can also ignore specific lines with comments that differ based on the language. In this example we want to skip the dist directory, which is the output directory for my frontend assets and log files from package managers. I was wondering a lot, 
Why do the dogs highlight the opinionation aspect of Prettier so often? Now, after using it for a while, I get why. Prettier has a specific way of formatting code without offering much customizations. It follows a specific set of rules and doesn't allow much deviation from them, ensuring a consistent code style across the project. That's why it's opinionated. Its greatest advantage like this might be also treated as a disadvantage. In some aspects, Prettier follows the rules too strictly, making problems instead of solving them. Anthony Fu in his article already pointed out why it might be treated as a problem. So I insist you to check out the whole article because it is a great reference for the decisions about usage. I will post all the links in the video description. I like the opinion provided there which states that Prettier is not for everyone. And it seems to be not for me. I don't like not having control over things like this and I expect more flexibility in rules management. It also generates some problems in my workflow when using other linters like StyleLint or ASLint. But I will handle this topic wider in the separate materials about those, those linters, so remember to stay up to date with my content and subscribe to my channel. So, do I use it? For now, I leave Prettier in my project to let it format other than JavaScript and CSS file types and check how it handles this task. I don't use for CSS and JavaScript formatting, at least for now, because I prefer more flexible Stylint and Slint, which are the linters, but handle formatting well too. Maybe I will get back to Prettier in the future, we will see. So, should you use the Prettier? I'm just one simple developer, so you don't need to blindly follow me. You are the chief here, so install Prettier and check on your own how it improves the workflow. I believe that for the projects that don't need JavaScript or CSS linting with the tools like Stylint or Slint, that's the perfect tool to use. And I would use it in this case. Let me know in the comments what are your thoughts. Are you on the hype train or have doubts like me? I will be glad to hear this. And that's all. I hope that you enjoyed this short video about Prettier. I believe that it includes all the information, all the most important information that should give you confidence in deciding if that's the right fit for you. If so, please remember to thumbs up on this video because it will help me. If you want to stay up to date with the latest content, please subscribe to my channel. The next videos that I will create will be about styling and Slint and the problems that I have with them when using Prettier. Or the problems that I have with Prettier when using Stylint and Aslint. So I hope that you will enjoy it too. So thank you for your time today and see you next see you in the next material. Bye bye.